Well, uh, I think, you know, our season is very long, so to get to the end of the year and, you know, sort of attain the ranking that you set out at the start of the year is obviously, you know, very nice and rewarding. And, you know, for me, it started in at the Brisbane International and, um, you know, I won a, a lot of matches there but ended up losing in the quarterfinals, but that was, you know, still a great start for me. And, you know, went over to the States and, uh, you know, won my, my first title uh, in doubles actually in Newport, which was, was after Wimbledon, and then won Atlanta doubles title as well. So, you know, those were great springboards for me and, and gave me a lot of confidence. In Shanghai, it was probably my best result and, uh, you know, losing in the quarterfinals to Murray and the week before that, I won a few matches in Tokyo and, you know, ended up losing in three sets to Ferrer. So, uh, you know, when I've, when I've put together good weeks, it's been, uh, you know, winning a lot of matches, but then losing to those top, top guys. So, you know, a lot of uh, hard work needed, I guess, to, to jump to the next level. You know, first of all, I think the event's great that, you know, the end of the season, the end of the year comes together and, you know, everyone sort of gets together and, and honors tennis in Australia and, you know, all the awards and everything. I think it's a great initiative and, you know, for someone like uh, John Newcomb to be, obviously the name on the medal is, uh, you know, very inspiring and, and it's a great, in, in his great honour, you know, that the awards are presented and, you know, I went to the to the awards night last year and uh, was just a spectator but this year, you know, to be to be nominated for the actual medal is, uh, you know, I'm very proud of that and it's, it's uh, you know, a big big honor in itself so I'm very you know looking forward to, to getting over there and being a part of the night